Surviving Real Food Ranch. Wholesome, natural, family farming. Good job, Bella. You want to try trotting? Welcome to Reviving Real Foods Ranch Ride. My name is Megan and Charlotte and Kyle are off getting a French Angora buck. So we'll have a new buck soon or in a couple hours. And I am out getting fences ready for moving the animals tonight. I've already moved once but I need to set up a second paddock because um, I've been moving the cows and the bulls into new ground each uh, twice a day. So I need to get through here. I had cut, can you even tell? I'd cut a path through there, can't even see it anymore hardly, um, last year and it's grown a bit. So I'm gonna mow through there so I can get through. We just came across the valley. So we are on the other side of the pond and uh, it was kind of a, it is still a little bit of a difficult move. Um, but we're getting everybody through the valley and to the other side, which I call the back 40. So I'm gonna get this mode and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. And then I'll give you a quick update on the animals. Got through to the other side, but I'm gonna let the dust settle before I show you where I mowed because there was a lot of poison oak in there and I'm very allergic to it. So even the dust is problematic for me. So I'll show you. Here's our uh, old hippo boat, so you can see it. But this little uh, part of the lake, kinda this is where the water feeds into the lake. And it runs to the, or it meets up with a dry creek. So the animals just finished coming through here. Everyone except the chickens. And now I need to trim up these bush things, whatever they are, so that hopefully just the grass will grow. Um, the chickens are still up there at the top of the valley. Uh, they are going, you can see dude maybe. They are going to have to be put in their coops tonight and taken the long way around because I can't get the coop down that hill. Um, you can see everything is pretty steep. I was surprised the pigs actually came down the hill. So we came in here day before yesterday, I think. And I just brought the pigs in. They'll have a short time in this paddock and they can come into the next paddock. Hey there, Daisy. Hey there, Pickles. Maybe we'll go ahead and let them in. So I'm watching for snakes. I just killed a copperhead. I don't like killing things, but last year we had probably a copperhead or a water moccasin kill one of our baby goats. So come on in. So their um, house. Come on, Daisy is also not able to come down the steep hill. So I'm gonna have to bring it around tomorrow, but I'll wait till we get up the valley on the other side over here before I put, bring their house back. But they have plenty of tree cover, so they have all the shade they need. Come on, Daisy, you're taking your time. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Come on. I'll stay. Close the fence here. Oh, 
So the cows, the sheep and goats, and now the pigs have been in here. The chickens won't get to come in here because I'm gonna bring them around once we're done being in the valley, which will be tomorrow. So here's one of the hills coming up. Uh, we'll get this side when we head back out uh, of the back 40, what I call the back 40. And the sheep and goats are currently working on this paddock. So they are out of the valley. And I'm gonna head back. We have one little buckling that is looking for a new home. Hey, Chaos. And Star Squirrel. All right, Star Squirrel didn't find a new home today at Trade Days. So he'll be looking for a new home here pretty soon. Anybody's interested, let us know. It's Hope's. This is Hope right here. That's Hope. It's her son. Hey, Hope, you're sweet. He looks like these. Uh, everybody, all the babies seem to be black or some shade of black this year. Except for Jackie, she's not. That's Chaos's sister. But everyone is doing good. They're nibbling on the wild plum. This is a pretty large wild plum thicket. We have T-Bone and one of the steers, black beef, in here with the sheep and goats. Because our beef, black bull, is our low line Angus. He and Nelson got himself in with the beef cows, which is fine. But I believe Penelope was in heat and there was no separating them. So we don't need too many bulls in there. I'd like to get one out. But for now, they're there. This is Cherry. She's one of our new heifers. She's a red low-line Angus. She was the smaller of the two but that we got. We got two new low-line Angus, but in the red color. Strawberry. Strawberry says nobody puts strawberry in a fence. So she is our escape artist. If the fence is not completely hot, you can see the difference here. Uh, we haven't gone to this side yet. They've been in that side. Anyway, Strawberry uh, finds her way out of the fence if it's not hot. And when I'm doing some of these crazy moves, there's definitely times where the fence isn't hot. So this one is hot right now and she is staying in. So she's in with the dairy girls. There's Honey and her baby, Maple. And we got one steer in there. Red beef. There's that, which is Cleo's baby. And there's Cleo, and here comes Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. Her ear says Sassy, which might be more appropriate, but we named her Strawberry. She's a good looking low line Angus. So they just got moved into here. They're working on the grass and the brows. They tend to eat a little bit of everything, even though they're cows. They don't eat as much of the brows as the goats do, of course, but I see them nibble on it. So let's go back to my tunnel that I mowed. So this is where they're going to be moving to. So they're going to be coming in here with all this grass. There's lots of trees in there. I'd love to thin out those cedars one day. So this will be the biggest paddock that I make because can't get through anywhere. There's some big boulders in that uh, little tree area and between the trees and the boulders I haven't figured out how to cut through yet. One day hopefully I'll find a path through there to the other side 
and I can make a smaller paddock. The bigger pack paddock isn't a problem other than that I don't have enough fence. So here's one of our favorite blackberry patches. I guess we really only like the edges because it's hard to get in there, but we picked blackberries from here last year. They're looking good. I think I'm gonna let the animals nibble on them a bit, but they were in a different blackberry patch not too long ago and they seem to leave some of the flowers, so hopefully we'll still get some blackberries out of it. And I don't know that they can get in the middle of that either. It's pretty thick. All right, so we're coming up to the tunnel. So again, I cut this cut through here last year. And now I'll actually be able to walk through here and bring my fence through. And there's still some uh, poison oak, but enough of it is mowed that I can get through and hopefully not get too much on me. Yeah, that's a lot of poison oak. That stuff does not like me. Charlotte and Kyle don't seem to be allergic to it, but... So that is where we're setting up today. So I got some fence to put up. All right, what do you got there? I have a rabbit. What's its name? Shadow. You're gonna call it Shadow? Yes. What type of a rabbit is it? Angora. Name Shadow. Yes. Show me some good video. Oh, that boy. Do I get to see his face? Pretty. Thank you for watching Reviving Real Foods. Like and follow for bleep's sake.